Welcome to Investor Intel. My name is Andy Godry. I'm here with Tim from Wealth Minerals. Nice to have you. Thank you. Thanks. Um, for we'll get right to it because I know you're a busy man. So there was a big report that just came out by Morgan Stanley. Yeah. Can you touch about it, about the lithium industry? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's, there's a lot of confusion about sort of where the industry is going. Uh, it's a very small industry. Uh, there aren't a lot of data points to kind of get your hands on. What we do know is that the paradigm shift in lithium consumption globally is happening before our eyes. Uh, there's a famous picture of Times Square in 1890 where it's all horses and then in 1915 it's all cars, right? That paradigm shift is happening now. Uh, a lot of the analysts in the investment making industry are basically ramping up their expectations for lithium consumption in the next five to ten years. So I can understand an analyst wants to be contrarian, it kind of gets your name out there. It's a smart thing to do in terms of basically getting awareness up, but the reality is that the lithium industry has is it, that has a limited ability really to ramp up production. In one, if you're talking about brine production, which is half of the world's supply of lithium, it takes at least nine months to 12, nine to 12 months just to actually have that inventory on the market. So he's talking about in a very short period of time, ramping up production almost 200% globally. Well, in that short period of time, you're going to be waiting for all of the stuff to just dry under the sun, which is what solar evaporation is. I think there's just, there's, there's some details here that he's not really fully processed in his report. Whatever, it gets, the, it gets the word out there, it's great. The fundamental reality is the world's shifting to lithium ion battery technology. That's just a fact, we see that everywhere. And the reality is, is that there hasn't been a lot of thought on, from the consumers of lithium about where this actually is gonna come from. They're putting billions of dollars into building factories, and frankly for them, I think a couple hundred million dollars for lithium supply is almost an afterthought. But the reality is that billion dollar factory is gonna stand still if they don't have the lithium supply. And so now, it's only now that a lot of these big companies that have put, gone on the record saying they're going to do this, they now kind of realize like, oh, we need to really think about how we're going to you know, tighten up our supply chain. Proof in the pudding, you know, proof of this is Toyota just bought a major, almost a 20% stake in Oracobre. You know, what's that about? Auto manufacturers have been divesting of their suppliers of the raw material sources for decades because they just want to assemble stuff. Right? Now for this company, this major company, to go back and actually buy its, its supply of raw material shows you how acute this, this situation is. Interesting. Uh, now, with your stock was up yeah. and you just released a corporate update. Would you like to touch about that? Yeah, you know, Wealth Minerals is very simple. Put the platform together, get the people all together so you can actually do something. We recognize there was a paradigm shift in the industry faster than anyone else. And our philosophy was get the real estate before anyone else can, because once it's gone, it's gone forever. The key thing about Solars, these brine deposits, is they're visible from outer space. You're never gonna find a new one, right? So what you see is what you get. And so whoever moves first and gets it, has it forever. We got the property, we did a whole bunch of option agreements, and now we're transitioning to actually developing these assets. We started drilling, we've done geophysical work, and all that's on the public record we've announced. Um, but at the end of the day, you want to be efficient about it. So basically, we've taken the best parts of our portfolio. We want to have basically the first course. Other people can have the leftovers, right? So we get everything first, and then we rank what we have, deploy capital and management attention to the best projects, and the projects that maybe have some issues or maybe just aren't as you know, perspective as the others, we're going to move those further down the, the chain of, of, of what we do with them. What do you expect wealth to happen in the next quarter or two? Look, we're, we're drilling right now, okay. right? Uh, that's been, you know, the key thing about wealth is everyone understands the perspectivity of the properties, but they, they need a number. People want to see a physical number. So we're drilling, those assay results are going to be coming out in the end of this quarter, in the beginning of next quarter, and that's going to be a major catalyst event because then you actually have a number to put to essentially an idea, a concept. So that's number one. Number two, we're doing a lot of work on the corporate front. The corporate update we just spoke about, that's basically the first step of really putting this together. So it's an exciting time for wealth because all of these things are coming together right now in the next two quarters. So keep an eye out for the stock.